You know, I wanted to start off this segment saying that you were being gaslit. Um, but as I thought on it more, you're actually not being gaslit. Um, I wanted to say that you were being uh, misled, um, but you're not being misled. Um, I, 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 I liken this to the woman who is attracted to the bad boy and then feigns surprise when the bad boy does bad things. He's a bad boy. That's what they do. It's kind of baked into the relationship when you're attracted to that. Well, your government is rotten to the core. Unfortunately, that rottenness is baked into the system. It's not just that you're being gaslit. You being gaslit, misled, is baked into the government. And I can only show you, um, and I'm guessing that this won't get a whole lot of views, share this with people you love because this crap needs to be called out. It's Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From the New York Times, Congress passed a bill that banned TikTok. Now comes the hard part. President Biden has signed the bill to force a sale of the video app or ban it. Now the law faces court challenges, a shortage of qualified buyers, and Beijing's hostility. Hmm. Um, I'm going to call BS. I'm going to call BS because that was to distract you. It was put in the bill to distract you. This is what I believe Matt Gates was trying to unravel. This knot of corruption that just won't be undone. I'm going to prove it to you. All right, before we get into it, why don't you wreck that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. You know, I I, I so often want to do something, you know, but I, I want to show you something, but it's it's difficult to do in like five minutes. And, and so, you know, I, I kind of have to go long, so I'm going to try to do this as succinctly as I can, okay? Pay very close attention here. A bill that would force a sale of TikTok by the Chinese owner, ByteDance, or ban it outright, was passed by the Senate on Tuesday and signed into law Wednesday by President Biden. Now the process is likely to get even more complicated. Congress passed the measure citing national security concerns because of TikTok's Chinese ties. Both lawmakers and security experts have said there are risks that the Chinese government could lean on ByteDance for access to sensitive data belonging to its 170 million U.S. users or to spread propaganda. There's a lot of stuff that's wrong with all of this. Firstly, a bill that would force full stop it's not a bill that would force. This is only part of a bill, a spending bill that has literally nothing to do with TikTok. That is the corruption that is baked into the system. The corruption is part of the cake. Get this. Congress passed a measure citing national security concerns because of TikTok's Chinese ties. Both lawmakers and security experts said there are risks that the Chinese government could, could 
Lean on ByteDance for access to sensitive data belonging to its 170 million U.S. users or to spread propaganda. First off, they're already spreading propaganda. The same way that, you know, uh, Facebook does, the same way that Instagram does, the same way that, that, that every other social media platform does. They all spread propaganda. But did you get this one word? Because this one word really stood out to me. Both lawmakers and security experts have said that there are risks that the Chinese government could lean on ByteDance. They could. What do you mean they could? Well, that means they haven't. They could. They're telling you point blank. They could. They could use it to. Well, first of all, and, and let's just call a spade a spade. It's Chinese. It's a Chinese government. Of course, they own ByteDance. You don't get to have a business in China and the government doesn't have a hand in it. That's just not how the Chinese work. Of course, it's part of it. It's baked into TikTok. The problem, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm just hang on. I'm telling you, TikTok is not going to be banned. There's too much money involved. You really believe that these leeches, you really believe that these corrupt senators and congressmen and women are going to let all of that money go down the drain without getting a piece of it? You're out of your mind. TikTok is making millions and your Congress wants a part of it. That's the national security. If if they really believe that we are really, we're really in a, in, this is national security, bipartisan, they would close your border. They're not going to. Now, let me tell you why you're being, I, I, I would say gaslit, but you're not being gaslit. This is baked into the system. This is what I believe Matt Gates wanted to unravel. Pay very close attention. You see, the United States taxpayer has already sent $113 billion to Ukraine. And a lot of that money is unaccounted for. This is a continuance of a sick business model that the American government continues. Let me stop right there. Because I just need to point something out to you in, in case it, you know, slipped by you. She says this is a sick business model. That's a term of art. You see, you don't use that term business model unless you know business. Marjorie Taylor Greene knows business. And it is my understanding that she is a business owner. Now, if I have that wrong, go ahead, make a comment. But it is my understanding that she owns a business and she's using that as a term, a term of art that this is the business model. In other words, it's baked into the system. We put this in the cake. It's not that the cake has mold. No, the mold is baked into the cake. It's poison from the get-go on purpose. The federal government continues to fund the military industrial complex. And this, this is a business model that requires Congress to continue to vote for money, to continue to fund foreign wars. And this is a business model the American people do not support. Um, the very fact that she says this is about funding the military industrial complex lets you know she's not funded by the military industrial complex. That nobody approached her. That she's not compromised. She's not bought by. Now, you may disagree with some of her stances. I, I, for one, was pissed off that she was backing Kevin McCarthy. That was, that was, that was just a bonkers move. But she believed that he was, the per, he, he was a good guy for it. She was wrong. If you like that, if you hate that, you think that she's a moron, fine. But tell me she's wrong here. You can't. They don't support a business model built on blood and murder and war in foreign countries while this very government does nothing to secure our border. 
Understand, this is the same bill that I was just talking about. Banning TikTok. It's the exact same bill. See, the bill itself, the, the system itself is corrupt. It's baked into all of it. That's why they did everything they could to that all of a sudden Matt Gates was being accused of being a, you know, Pez dispenser. All of a sudden, man, I mean, all kinds of accusations. And I believe that's why. What do you mean you're trying to stop our corruption? It, they bake it into the system. Of course, they're insider trade trading. That's baked into the system. You, you really believe that Nancy Pelosi can outperform the market quarter after quarter after quarter? Really? The American people are over $34 trillion in debt, and the debt is rising by over $40 billion every single night while we all sleep. But yet nothing is done to secure our border or reduce our debt. Inflation has driven out of control. Americans are suffering every single day. They can hardly afford their grocery bills. They can hardly afford gas in their car. They can hardly afford rent. And now mortgage payments are well over $3,000, where they were only just over $1,700 three years ago. The youngest generation, young adults, don't even think they're going to be able to buy a home in their lifetime. And today in Congress, the most important thing that this body thinks should be done is to send another $61 billion to a war in Ukraine that the American people by 70% do not support. Stop and think about that. As much as they yell about our democracy, 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 70% of the Americans don't believe that we should be spending money in Ukraine. Most Americans don't even know what, where Ukraine is, let alone taking their money and sending it to these, these corrupt people in Ukraine. Mind you, this comes on the very heels of Monday, being April 15th, tax day, where every single American had to scrounge up their money and send their dollars in to the IRS. Or some of them had to file extensions because they weren't ready and didn't have the money to pay their taxes. But today, this body says the most important thing we can do, no, is not reduce spending. That's not it. Not to do anything to drive down inflation. Oh no, we can't do that for the American people. It's not to secure our own border that is invaded every single day, every single day, by people from over 160 different countries. No, don't secure the American border. Let everyone in. We have over 1.8 million known gotaways. We don't know who these people are. And yet you have members of this body Talking big and tough about, oh, we have to defeat Russia. Oh, we have to protect Ukraine. But yet all of you are unwilling to protect the American citizens that pay your paycheck, pay the, pay the light bills in this building, and pay for this entire federal government. Um, I think you get the gist. That's what they don't want you to know about. That's what they don't want you to see. That's what they don't want you to concentrate on. So what do they do? They put in a brand new shiny object like TikTok and then cite national security. Under Joe Biden, national security is doesn't it, it doesn't even exist. 100 over 100 different nationals from from China to Honduran to the Middle East have already invaded our southern border. What, what do you mean national security? You gotta be kidding me with that. That has nothing to do with anything. It has everything to do with funding the people that fund your congressmen. That's what this is about. And so they're gonna continue. Just stop and think. Right now, just as she said, I, I did a short in which I showed that 
and and a lot of this is just California, but a lot of this has to do with inflation as well because products are are costing more. I spent eighteen dollars on a burger and fries. I just. I, I, I really want you to see what's happening here. You see, it's not that um, you're being manipulated because that's kind of what I was thinking at, 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 at the outset. At first blush, that's what it looks like. You're just being manipulated, but you're not. Any more than the female is being fooled by the shenanigans of the bad boy. The bad boy was part of the deal. The bad boy was baked into the relationship. Now she can pretend that he's not doing bad things out there. She can pretend that he's not cheating on her. She can even pretend that no one else knows. The one person she can't pretend with is herself. And the bad boy, here's the rub, doesn't give a rat's ass as long as he gets to be the bad boy. That's your government screwing around on you, abusing you. But at the same time, we turned a blind eye. We pretend that TikTok is the threat. Wake up. Mitch McConnell is the threat. Chuck Schumer is the threat. And it, it pains me to say, Mike Johnson is the threat. I would, I would, I would, I would sell my kingdom for more Marjorie Taylor Greens. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.